There is a powerful three-word prayer that I've used 10 billion times in my own life to speak to me, and it is peace, be still. That is from Mark 4, verse 39. Peace, be still. When you find yourself getting agitated, when you find yourself upset, when you find yourself in a place that you don't want to be, just say to yourself with great conviction, peace, be still. The cells in your body will listen. The thoughts in your lower human mind will listen and obey. Jesus issued this command to the wind and to the waves when his disciples became alarmed and fearful because of the stormy seas around us. Well, stormy seas come around us many times in life. It could be not so much water, but just conditions. And we find ourselves being tossed not by a boat, but by our own thoughts and our own fears and anxieties. It is at that time that we need to calm our own wind and our own stormy sea by saying, peace be still. How very great must have been Jesus' realization of his mastery over all circumstances through the power of God within him in order to be able to issue such a directive and have even the forces of nature obey him. Well, we too can take command of our lives and the circumstances of our lives through the power of God that is with us. We can assume leadership over our lives and we can give direction to the powerful peace and serenity to, to the fearful thoughts that may rise in the stormy conditions of our lives. And when we have troubling conditions around us, we simply say, peace, be still. You command it. You believe it. You fortify it with your faith and the power of God coming through that statement through you. Today, let us take control of our lives. We do this through prayer and perseverance, and through faith in God and also in ourselves and what we can do with God. No matter what the wind or wave or how high they seem, the directive of peace, be still, issued from Christ within us, will be obeyed. Peace, be still.